January 7th, 2021. Over four months after launch, the marketplace refreshes to yet another underwhelming assortment of recolors and palette swap skins. The remaining community, understandably, is less than impressed by the lazy start to a year of more potential embarrassments from a developer that sees fit to continue to ignore its fans. The Redditors have spent the last few days upvoting MCU skin mock-ups, uh, emote wheel concepts. The Twitter community has voiced blatant dissatisfaction with not just the price, but the forgettably ugly look of the Avenger skins on offer. A special thanks to those from my community who are supportive in the comment sections over on Twitter. In the early days, I saw valid criticism and thoughts suppressed for daring to do anything but praise this game within the very communities built for it. And now, with barely anyone left to actually voice concern, even the Matt Murdochs of this game's community can't deny. This is bad. It's not just the skins or the prices or even the lack of communication. It's all bad. All of it. I want to read their words. Number 14. This might be the worst marketplace I've ever seen. Number 13. I'm really curious as to how they will handle recolors for Black Panther, who as far as I know has always worn black suits. I'm sure they'll change that. Will they also give him blue or yellow suits? Also, it's funny that nameplates have better suits than the store. We're going to get to that, okay? It's one of my favorite things. A response to this post says, Finally, I'll be able to kill aimbots as the Pink Panther. Ridiculous. Someone else responds, At this point, they'll probably just give him an extra couple of pockets and slap a $14 price tag on it. That's what I said. I was in the comment section and said something. Here it is. They don't have to recolor him. They have millions of combinations of pads, pouches, pockets, belts, straps, and latches that they can disgrace his design with. Just wait and see what Crystal Dynamics has in store. Pun intended, because it's figuratively and literally going to be in the store for you to pay $14 for. Number 12, another market, another non-MCU skin, and more recolors. I guess the devs really don't want my money. <sighs> They don't even give long hair or winged helmet cap from the comics. It's very funny that he mentions this because one of the upvoted comments that was left under a tweet showcases a Reddit post from when this subreddit actually had a lot of attention that made it to the top, just showing what it might look like if you had a nice long haired skin for Black Widow. But I do think that this game has a boner for making everyone ugly, uh, you know, regardless of their gender. Number 11, I really hate the people who are working on the cosmetics. Uh, it's pretty strong, but it's not like we can't imagine where he's coming from. Somebody says, hot take. The artists also hate what they're creating, but their boss likes it this way. I can't say I agree with that because I don't have all the information and I can't say that I know what's going on behind the scenes, but you've heard me say it before. I am of the impression that some people behind the scenes do not want to be working on this. And they are investing their dissatisfaction with their job and maybe they have some sort of personal grievance with marvel or you know what i mean you've heard me you've heard me make a joke about how crystal dynamics is like the Zack snyder of this and if y'all don't know anything about Zack snyder i really suggest you look up some quotes about what batman would do in his film the boy is just a really wannabe edgelord just cringe factory this dude's takes oh they blow my mind Someone responds, I hate their boss then. Oh my god. Could y'all better stop with the hate? Whoever approves this shitty cosmetics, it has been four months. And it was like they were not even listening, nor are they doing anything about it. Look at the Captain America outfit. What is that? What are we supposed to think when we see this? When we're when 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 the fans are begging you in an opposite direction and you're going in this one. 
the Captain America outfit is awful. I didn't write this, man. This is the community. Number 10, the Captain America outfit is awful. Someone responds as, what I don't get is why this is a legendary skin, but the Kate one is only epic. Because if you objectively look, you might think that the Kate skin might be a little bit, I don't know, better or uh, more rare than the Cap skin, which looks kind of like, eh, there's another Cap skin. Are we paying for the fact that it doesn't have uh, as many pockets as it normally would? I, I Number nine, it would be nice if we got at the very least one unique appearance each week. Oh wait, sorry, that might be too much effort. Boy, it's starting to reach a point where it seems like Kyle are making, is Kyle R? Well, there are 10 of me. Um, it seems like Kyle is making these comments. You know what I mean? I, I'm sorry to say. It took y'all four months to get here, but the community wouldn't be this bad and the developer could have avoided it if they had just <laughs> communicated. As I've said it before with my restaurant analogy, people might be inclined to sit in their chairs a little bit longer, even if they can see that there's probably a fire in the kitchen, if the waiter at the very least comes out and says, hey, your meal is on the way. Your meal is on the way. But soon, a couple of weeks ago, yeah, it's not cutting it at this point. Number eight, recolors should be units only, not credits. I don't understand what they're doing. I don't understand. How can anybody understand? Marvel, come get your license. Yo, number seven. I don't know why I bother to look forward to these updates anymore. They are always so disappointing. This is your fan base. This is your player base. Ignore this all you want. It's sad, embarrassing, frustrating, and uninspiring. These people want to love your game. I die on a cross in the comment section of this subreddit at least two or three times a week because if I say anything real, factual, they crucify me. These people are your game's defenders, but when they all ally themselves behind this concept that your skins are not cutting it, not when it comes to this property that has already knocked it out of the park with this before. You, you gotta listen. You gotta listen to them. I don't expect you to listen to me. I've been living in Trump's America. I don't expect you to listen to me. But will you listen to them? He goes on to say it feels completely and utterly lazy on their part. You see in these buzzwords I'm using all the time? It makes it difficult to want to support the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> None of these are even remotely worth buying, which makes it so much more worse. Since I know that there are costumes that exist that I have seen since the beta that I would absolutely buy. There, he, this dude's saying there's skins in the game that they're not even rolling out that he would be more interested in. What's really going on? Number six, I'm more disappointed than I usually am with this week's marketplace. Why is the Black Widow skin legendary? Ask the question. I asked it last week. It looks like a recolor of her iconic suit. Captain America just looks ridiculous with these colors. A fundamental misunderstanding of the characters that you're fucking dealing with. And if not a misunderstanding, then a genuine and deep-seated disrespect. You're jumping on your Twitter and telling everybody that Kate Bishop is a fan favorite? Even though the comments contradict that. You're trying to tell people what they like as opposed to giving them what they want. And of course, of course the amount of money that you're making in return is reflecting that. You couldn't recoup your development cost? Don't ask why. Number five, it's frustrating when you see an awesome Iron Man costume in the nameplate, yet we don't actually have that in game. I'm going to have a representation of what's, what he's talking about up because of course the comics have tons of awe-inspiring, dazzling, different suits that Tony Stark has made in different incarnations of Iron Man and different runs and different comics and different universes. You know what I mean? Because they get down like that. The person's comment goes on to say, wouldn't it make sense to drop a costume with a nameplate that is specific to that costume? I'm going to open up the comments on this one. A response says that would be the smart thing to do. That's why they don't do it. 
dumbest studio to get the Marvel license. Oh my god. Someone else responds, yup. I'm still waiting on the white symbiote Iron Man suit that's in the nameplates. And then I respond, you're going to be waiting longer than this game has waited for content. I responded, it's my favorite thing about this game. The contrast of beautiful designs that have lasted barely tweaked for over 60 years against their over-designed skins. It makes me hyped to see their bad take on Spider-Man. Someone responds to me, Spider-Man is going to be fascinating. He has so many costumes through the years, but they'll give him three different ones with five reskins each. It's going to be so dumb. Bruh. Somebody said they're probably going to launch with the 2021 comics redesign. I'm not even going to pull up that ugly Spider-Man and show it to you. All you need to know is it's like, it's another case of nothing's broke, but let's try to fix it. Oof. Number four, the most disappointing marketplace yet. The poor people. Number three, holy shit, they didn't even try this week. This is infuriating to look at, man. Get that fucking $14 window skin. The fuck out of my face. A response says that widow skin is so bad. Someone else says, bro, I tilted his back. Don't think, just consume and get hyped for the next release. It's like they don't want my money. Enough of the recolors. I'd rather you cycle through the original outfits multiple times rather than give me recolors every week. I respond exact thought that most people had at launch four months ago. It's nice to see that some things haven't changed. Crystal Dynamics knows, bro. Don't throw them that bone like they're ignorant. They know. They know that the fans want one-to-one -one comic book skins. You know what that means? It means identical, not modified takes, not inspired by, identical skins. These properties have existed longer than the developers have been alive. Have you thought about that? Do you think that somebody is 70 years old working as a developer on this motherfucker? I'm, I've got news for you. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> there isn't. Fans want MCU skins. And they've been up to butt of the dev so hard and for so long that they've come out on their streams and said maybe. You know what I mean? Like it's something that they, they are or will potentially consider. But I, I can't, how can we hold our breath at this point? Where's the money going to come from? They haven't recovered the development cost for their, their game. My God. Everybody's willing to pay. All of the people whose comments I just read are willing to pay, but not for lazy garbage. And certainly not $14 for a skin like this. This is your remaining player base, Crystal Dynamics, and you're ignoring them. You have an employed community manager saying shit like... I mean, this is not me doing like lip service, but we are here for you guys, for players. Uh, that is our main job, and to, to talk to you guys and to just make sure that you're taken care of. Simultaneously, in spite of his title, ignores the entire community. I'm not dying this dude for this dude to talk to me specifically. I want him to jump on the Reddit, to jump on Twitter, and answer a couple of genuine questions. Y'all were ignoring Paul Tassie's questions. That's a journalist. When everybody was looking for you because y'all were MIA, y'all reached out to Kotaku? That's who you are. I know who you are, Crystal Dynamics. It's going to take a while for everybody to understand and recognize you. But if you don't hurry it up, look at this comment section. People are starting to get wise to you and what you represent. People think I'm critical of this game, but boy, nobody makes you look worse than you do. Stop. <sighs> you see this list? These aren't suggestions for ways to proceed. These are ne it's necessary. It's necessary. Furthermore, to what you should have had at launch. You want to continue this? If you realistically can't, if you don't believe that you can, you know, fulfill these obligations at this point, you need to open your mouth and say so. Leak it. Call up somebody and give them an interview. Call Jason Trier and, and just, you know, anonymously let people know. Y'all don't want to be doing this. Defenders and shills keep trying to get people excited about a raid. But if you've ever played a single raid in your entire life, you'll know that the rickety cardboard foundation of what people are calling a game in Marvel's Avengers, 
Ooh, you know what I mean? Like this video. Like the hell out of this video. And I will make a video explaining very clearly why Marvel's Avengers can't have a raid. I'd explain the hell out of it to you. Take it easy. I'm sorry for what's going on. Subscribe, like, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, do whatever you want to do. Links are in the description, but... I expected by now that they would have dropped some indication of when their next war table was, or if it was going to be a deep dive, considering the last time we had a war table, it was just like a bunch of people dropping L's on how <laughs> Kate Bishop is who y'all chose. But you're going to make a tweet talking about how she's a fan favorite. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. See y'all later. Love you, my lord. Woo. <sighs>